Well, I'm Dijia. I need the questions. And in this video, we'll discuss the design and testing of a 10 kV silicon carbide MOSFET based H bridge for a power electronics building pump, also known as PET. Shown here is the block diagram of the IMU. The three main functional units are the embedded controller in the perturbation injection unit, the PXI computer, and the host computer. These functional units are connected via a gigabit Ethernet switch. The perturbation injection unit creates the disturbances for the system under test. The system responses are then measured by high bandwidth, high accuracy sensors at both the source and load sides of the injection point. This allows the impedances of both sides to be extracted simultaneously. The sensor output signals are digitized by an industrial computer and sent to the host computer for final processing. The host computer remotely controls the entire measurement process via the graphical user interface. The IMU has been under test at the Florida State University Medium Voltage Laboratory. Impedance measurements at 2.8 kV have been achieved thus far, with the IMU being connected between a variable voltage source converter and a resistive load via a step-down transformer. The unfiltered results of the in-situ measured DQ impedances are shown here. The frequency responses shown in green correspond to the aggregated impedance of the source, while the responses shown in blue correspond to the equivalent impedance of the load. To the best of our knowledge, this is the first successful attempt at online measurement of system impedances using modern power electronics converters. At the beginning, the injection unit is in standby mode. Then it starts absorbing power from the system to prepare for measurement. During the measurement for the shunt injection mode, the unit injects 500 Hz current perturbation into the system. The top waveform is the summation of the PEB output voltages. The second waveform is the injected current. The third waveform is the system line-to-line -line voltage. And the bottom waveforms are the system source and load side currents. After the measurement, the unit discharges the stored energy and then goes back into the standby mode. Thank you very much for watching this video.